creating the perfect body <laughs> form equals function I want you guys to all remember that form always equals function if you see a guy who's been a mechanic for around 30 years he has crazy forms his forms are the size of my biceps all right if you see a guy who's working on interior construction and design his hands are always raised up to hold stuff up he's gonna have larger shoulders there's people who used to work on the cotton fields and they had really strong lower backs and legs because of how much they had to carry day by day form equals function and if you're trying to do the best for just aesthetics it's kind of useless because you're not serving any function you're just creating a form which is kind of promoting health which is kind of showing that you're healthy and stuff but in reality is just a figure it's just to show people that hey I have achieved this much but there's no function that comes with it alright for me when I started working out it was all about learning all those tricks and having these abilities for the pull-up bar and the body that came with it was kind of like a side effect <laughs> I wasn't really striving for the body but I watched it morph as I was doing all these things which was kind of an accident almost you could say now why am I saying this I am a proponent of health and health includes many things, not just the body. It includes cardiovascular health. Health. It, it includes nutrition, what you put into your body. It includes how endurant you are. It, it includes a whole spectrum of things that would make up a healthy person. So, <laughs> if you look at the health the right way, form equals function, you exercise the things you need to exercise in order to do things in this life, that are functional for you in your maybe field or just overall health like myself I, I don't really have to have the strength that I have for my everyday things but I would like to be healthy and feel good and not be sick I honestly don't remember the last time I was sick by the grace of God of course but this actually solves the problem that I brought up in the previous video of ego lifting why? because you are no longer comparing yourself to others in terms of body you're looking at the health of other people and if you are healthier than somebody else and you see that person is less healthier you automatically have this inner desire to help them to get them healthier to to put them on the right track and you're no longer seeing yourself as higher than them but you're seeing yourself as in the position to help the person and you automatically go and help them to achieve their fitness goals and this video is titled the perfect body and the perfect body doesn't exist why because every single person has their own genetic make genetic makeup nobody out there in the world can look exactly like me with their body they can achieve their own kind of physique that they can be satisfied with but you can never achieve a body that another person has so be happy with the body you have and always go for form equals function and sometimes and actually very often having a very small body fat percentage doesn't mean you're healthier doesn't mean that at all some people have some people can be thicker in terms of body fat and they can be a lot healthier than you just because they are mesomorphic or an endomorphic kind of figure all right so I just want you to keep those things in mind and that will help towards fixing the problem of ego lifting and towards living a healthier body in terms of form equals function instead of striving for something like a perfect body which doesn't really exist for anybody Paul with you today thanks bye bye